Hey honeys, how are you? It's your girl Gwen and Jaylene and welcome back to my channel. Today's video was totally not planned. I'm doing a first impression on the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill vault, but not the entire vault. I do have three out of the four palettes in the vault collection. The one I'm going to be doing a first impression on is the Dark Magic palette. Initially, I was going to buy the entire vault collection because it is $49 for the entire vault. I really, really wanted the Dark Magic, Armed and Gorgeous, and Ring the Alarm palettes, but I did not want Bling Boss. It would have cost almost the same even if I did get bling boss or if I didn't then I decided that I only wanted armed and gorgeous because I thought I really don't need the dark magic and the ring the alarm so I drove all the way to Ulta which is like a 30 minute drive 40 minute drive and when I got there I found out that the armed and gorgeous was out of stock so I decided to get the ring the alarm palette because I didn't want that trip to have gone to waste. I do like this palette, but I was not fully satisfied because the palette that I really wanted was the Armed and Gorgeous, so I ended up ordering it from Ulta.com and I got it shipped to where I currently live in right now. I could not stay away from the Dark Magic palette, so I do have this palette. These palettes have been pretty controversial recently. Everybody either loves them or they hate them. They say that the swatches suck, but I personally have never been a huge fan of swatches anyway. They don't really tell the whole story. People have been saying that Dark Magic is the most difficult palette to use on the eyes. I have not used this on my eyes yet. I got this yesterday, so I'm very curious to see if this is going to work just as good as these palettes. These do swatch pretty bad. But I have had that experience with all of the Morphe eyeshadow palettes, including the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I never thought that that palette swatched that well, but I never pay attention to swatches because that is not how they go on the eyes. First thing I am going to do is zoom in because you cannot see my face. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to apply my usual concealer. The first shade I'm going to use is Poof, and I'm going to use this to set the concealer. The next shade I want to take is the shade Shh, which is this brown right here, and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Now, I'm not used to cool tone eyeshadows, I'm very much of a warm tone girl. I don't know how I feel about this color. It's a little bit too gray for my liking. I'm going to take some of that poof shade again, and I'm just going to use this so I can blend out that sh shade a little bit better. Wow, that looks very, very gray. It's blending out pretty good though. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Potion and I'm gonna apply that in my crease as well. Ooh, that's very pretty. This green is applying a little bit patchy, but I was expecting that. That happens with darker, colorful shadows. I'm just gonna pat this in rather than blend it in. I'm going to take that shade again and blend the edges out. Alright, so this is what we have so far. I want to take the shade Busted on the inner and outer part of my lid. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little concerned. Oh, that actually is very pretty. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of blending away to nothingness. <laughs> I recommend you packing this on like so and lightly blending it out on the edges. I'm gonna use my finger just to pack it on. Oh, I don't know if my finger is gonna work for this inner part. I want to build up the green just because I feel like it's getting lost. Alright, so now I'm gonna take my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I'm going to apply it to the center right here. I want to intensify this busted shade. Now I want to take the shade Trickery and I'm going to apply this to the center of the lid. I'm going to take this small flat shader brush and just load my brush with it. And I did not wet it. Okay, that looks like it's going to take quite a lot of packing. I want more of the glitter to show up. This is going to take too much work, so I'm going to wet the brush. I'm just going to wet it with some of my MAC Fix Plus. 
It looks very pretty, but it is taking a lot of layers to build this color up. I'm gonna use my finger just to apply some of this. I'm gonna use this same brush and go back into the shade Busted. Some of the color did blend away, so I'm just gonna re-intensify Busted. Okay, am I crazy or did the shade Potion just blend away? I'm gonna add some more. I did have a little bit of fallout, but I was honestly expecting a lot more. I'm gonna take the shade Power Cut and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Oh, wow. Okay. Like usual, I'm going to apply liquid eyeliner. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm just gonna apply some black eyeliner to the waterline, maybe tight line as well. All right, so for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Potion, which is the green shade. And now for some mascara. So this is the finished look. It is very dramatic, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Overall, I don't think this palette is that difficult to work with. I think it is difficult to work with, but I mean, these are very dark colors. It is not any more difficult than any of my other eyeshadows that are similar. It was a little patchy, but dark colors are always very, very patchy. And I did set the concealer that I applied as a base, so maybe that's why I wasn't applying too well. Um, I noticed that like in my crease, there was an area that the shadow would not stay. It would just fly off, and I had to con um, put it on over and over again. The next time I use this palette, I'm not going to set the concealer. If there was a shadow right here, I'm sorry, it was because of my mirror, but I personally did not have that much of a difficult time with this palette. I think this palette is actually pretty easy to work with considering the colors are very dark and it didn't take me too long to blend them out. Overall, really happy with this palette. I was terrified it wouldn't work very well because of all the bad reviews, but you just have to try these palettes out for yourself. I recommend you getting them from Ulta. If you don't like them, you can return them. These colors are never going to not be patchy. These colors are just always going to be patchy because of how dark they are and you just have to work with them. And I'm very happy with how the look turned out. That was it for this first impression. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay golden!